How you doing today? Welcome back to Life with Bilsif. I'm your freaking host, Bilsif. You guys are just getting freaking spoiled right now, you are, hey? Number two episode of some RC Rock Crawlers for you, hey? Freaking right, boys. This time... What the hell is this thing, boys? It's an Axial. XCX10, boys. So, what's going on with this thing is we got some slippage happening here, we do. Hey, watch, boys, I'll show you. So, if you get into a heavy climb, all gears do is slip. Slip, slide, and do dick all. So, we gotta fix that before this one is ready for some action. Because there's nothing worse than that. See what I mean? Like, it, it, it's still still the tires, but if you start to crawl something where it wants to grab, she just spins in the housing. So we're gonna have to fix that and we'll get her Bob's your uncle and Fanny to your Annie. So what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need something to get these screws out of this housing, which is, looks like a Torx, boys. Girls, peoples, some kind of Torx. We'll have to see what we got here. Nope, that's not it. All right, here we go again. Nope, that's not it. I can't even see what the hell is what, to be honest with you. Nope, that's not it. Oh, frig. There's friggin', like a little friggin' star screwdriver. Yeah. Like what's really going on? Star we got in this one. Little El Staro action. So we'll get this screw out. This is just a really, really cheap transmission from China. Oh, this should have made it to my don't buy junk video, by the way. I had to rebuild it right out of the box, boys. But it's too late for that now. So we might as well just keep carrying on and worry about the next one. So we need to get, there's another screw down in here, right in the butthole, boys. Just stick her right in there and you should be able to find her. Somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. Friggin' right it is. So we get that one out. We'll pull the cover off. We'll have a little lank gander here. So by the looks of it, we get that son of a bitch as tight as it will friggin' go. We do. So we'll tighten this thing up even more. Just crank right on her, Jim, and that should stop from slipping. So let's give her a try and see if we fixed her as easy as that, Captain. Because if my daughter uses this and it doesn't work right, I've got hell to pay, boys. She's pretty mean to me. So here we go. Let's see if it works. I think that's even worse for Frank's sakes. Oh yeah, this thing's just mint, boys. <laughs> Look at the key at the back. Look at her. Look at the traction. I can't get her any goddamn tighter. Maybe I can. Oh, this thing's a joke. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to pull that transmission apart because I'll put the link below on that transmission so you don't buy it, boys. <laughs> because it is junk. Friggin' right it is. So we'll yank it off and we'll see what we can do to stop from slipping. That's the only thing that's been wrong with this thing is this, ever since I blew it up that one time, you know in that video way back when? Oh, that's why, boys. <laughs> that's exactly why. Because I had to fabricate this stupid thing to work because it didn't fit right, so I had to put a friggin' bearing in it because I didn't have a bushing. And then I used a couple of plastic washers to try to stop from slipping. So that's what's going on with this thing. So I gotta figure out some way to get her tight in there so it doesn't slip and spin on that bearing. How am I gonna do that for frig's sakes? The only reason why the bearing's in there is so it holds it center. Let me see if I can find a bushing. Even if I had like a brass bushing, that would be better than a friggin' bearing. Guaranteed. Or a piece of rubber. If I had a piece of rubber, if I only had a piece of rubber, cap. What is that? That's why those other pieces were sitting here. Cause I never did finish this thing right. No, those are all clocked over too. Those are no goddamn good for nothing. How am I gonna fix this, boys? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you would do if you were me. Oh, you know what would work? Actually, if I could put that on there. Slide this into here. Get a piece of rubber on there. That way we would push the washer back. And then when I torque that down, hold that thought, boys. I got an idea. I got some rubber friggin' O-rings. There's a brass one, boys, that I was talking about, which isn't a bearing, so it won't turn in the doodad, which will be better. And then I just gotta find some way to space it so I can tighten her. So if I put a shock ring on the one side, which will take up the excess gappage, and then I put a couple O-rings around this one, I might have her, boys. I might be able to fix this up. Let me go grab my O-ring kit. So I got my O-ring kit right here. I might be able to find myself a nice little rubber bushing, boys. Right there, if I slide that on the shaft, which fits perfect, and then I put this on here, and then I put this back on here, I gotta try to get that so it's in the middle. What a concoction I got going here, boys, girls, people. But hey, whatever works. 
jump. Put that on there. Get this thing started on here. Tighten her up a little bit. Oh yeah, this thing looks like a friggin' beast. Tighten her up some more, like that. Now I gotta adjust the actual gear, cause it's in the wrong spot now, like that. Oh, not that far in, holy. Right about there, Captain. Now that will be center. So we got our plastic o-ring in there. We got a bushing in there with no bearings. So now let's see what happens, boys. We might have to tighten this up some more, but I'm hoping that uh, this might take care of the problem. So remember, always go get your bathtub shit, boys. Because it works. Friggin' right it works. Maybe. Let's see. Friggin' right it's working, boys. When you can pull the front tire like that off the ground and the motor stops, she's working. So there you go. All that took was a solid brass bushing, a rubber tap o-ring, and a shock tower spacer and she's good to go so if you ever buy yourself one of these japanese or chinese friggin transmissions all you gotta do is what the dirty old bills have just did make her work jim because that's how we roll captain friggin right that's how we roll that thing friggin has some torque man look, look at it boys it <laughs> that's not slipping trick no it's not <laughs> Under, yeah. I thought it might be a little too tight, actually. Let's back that off just a little. We want a little bit of slippage. So there you go. These shocks are dick too. They were cheap from China too there a few months ago. And look at them work, boys. Okay, they're decent. Now all we gotta do is throw the cover back on. Like so, eh? Like friggin' so. Yeah, this thing wouldn't have climbed at all the way it was. Because as soon as it gets into something a little rough, where you need a little extra torque and torquey, she wouldn't have had her, Jim. And the, the stuff that come with it, just junk. You're like, you should have seen it. It was brutal. Brutal. Friggin' right, it's being right there. Really? Holy, how am I gonna get that screw in there? Easy, careful, gentle, down, in. Oh, yeah. Can't see, Jim. There it is. I think I got her, Captain. Friggin' right, I do. So there you go. That's back together. So now, all we gotta do is, we gotta shut this off. We gotta fit the body on. Make sure everything's still in the right spot. Feels good. My God, the suspension's soft on this thing. Frig, you think you'd be able to pull T-Rex 4 skins there a little better, but you don't, boys. All she does is spin while the T-Rex 4 just gives her. Stick this back in here like this. Slap this back on. See, the reason why I want to have two of these going at all times is so if I have somebody come over that wants to go crawling with me, I have two, boys. And I'll tell you one thing, boys. It makes your day a lot more interesting when you have two people crawling. So if anybody out there disagrees with me, leave a comment below. But if you agree with me that it's always fun with friends, then uh, leave a comment below. But there's no sense putting that back in because I have to charge that. It hasn't been charged in a long time. Make sure these pins fit through the holes. Sure do. There we go, Jim. So that one... Is uh is ready to go, Captain? Get the hell in there! Are you friggin' for real right now? Oh my God! Finally, decent. So that's all there is to that one. So we were able to fix that with just a few, uh, like I said, modifications, boys. They are handy to have. Your tap kits. Go to Princess Auto, pick yourself up one. Because believe it or not, I use a lot of these parts for RCs quite often. Pretty surprising how many times I use that in RCs. So if you want yourself some spacers or rubber bushings or whatever, that's what I buy. Because you know damn well, if you're anything like me, you can't leave them stock, boys. You have to tinker with the fucking things. Why the hell wouldn't we have to tinker with them? This is just another short little RC rock crawler video. Hey, the Axial. Not the uh, Traxxas T-Rex 4 skins this time. But hey, I got the good deal for this little truck. I'm gonna tell you right now, boys. If you're first time starting out crawling, you can pick these up online for like, I don't know, 300 bucks or so, and they work just fine instead of spending the $800 on a Traxxas T-Rex 4. These things are just as fun there. So leave a comment down below if you own one of these. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think between these and the T-Rex 4. Now remember, leave the bodies out of it because I know the bodies on the T-Rex 4s are shit, but I'm talking chassis to chassis, not bodies, okay boys? But this thing here has one hell of a roll with these shocks on it, they're extra extended shocks. And I haven't even tried crawling with this one right now, but all I know is it's got one hell of a friggin' body roll on it with all four tires. That's with the tire just coming off the ground. So that's the size of this battery almost, boys. 
Actually, this is the size of the battery. See, I can put, keep the wheel on the ground. So that's a pretty good twist on that truck, to be honest with you. And actually, you can adjust it so there's even more height and more twist if you want, because I got lower holes I could bring the asshole down. It's already high enough because I had to tilt the, the actual front diff so it points up further, so it actually would have enough travel. So the old drive shafts are getting a little, you wouldn't want them to be any more uh, shorter, that's for sure, or just cock us over. But now my turning radius is kind of dickered. But hey, it is what it is. It's kind of fun when you have to fabricate them sometimes. But that's it for that one. Gotta actually bring this down a little bit more in the back, I see. Actually, that's up a little too high right now, Jim. Actually, I think when the battery's in, it'll be fine. But anyways, we won't talk about that. Hopefully everybody's staying healthy like I am. Find yourself something to do like I am, eh? I'm always busy, I'm always got something on the go. I did a whole bunch of garden trim and edging today. I filled a couple of low holes. The neighbor was nice enough to bring a couple loads of dirt over for me. So we filled a couple of holes in the yard. I did some trimming, I used all the grass edging. I did some edging, sorry, not trimming. I did some edging. So I used all the grass pieces to fill in where I put the dirt. So now I don't have to wait like 10 months for grass to grow. It's friggin' decent. Maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see that. And if you don't wanna see it, just tell me to go freak myself why wouldn't you you better be because that's what i like hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like hit the notification bell bar button keep yourself safe like i am don't get sick boys because you guys mean a lot to me i don't want to see anybody get sick except for the one guy that was sick that he said and i'm glad you're feeling better bud i did read your comment of course and i did reply to you so hopefully you got that reply hopefully you're feeling better some of my youtube fans are had the cronus they did but it sounded like they were getting over her, so he must have been a young buck not an old buck whatever and it is what it is. Have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now.